Susu, say hello. You want to say hi? You want to lay there and be cute? Who's a cutie baby? Hey, it's me, Bev B. Diamond Paints, and today we're going to be doing a whip and chat. Whip and chat stands for work in progress and chat. So get out whatever you're working on. Uh, you don't have to work on anything if you don't want to. You can just sit there and listen. Do whatever you want. I just if you're driving, make sure you pay attention to the roads. So today we are working on my Simple Country by Chuck Pinson from Diamond Art Club. You can see that I have, you probably can't see that well, but I have the majority of it done. I just have one last row or one last big ass section to work on so I'm working on the left hand part of the canvas and I just have this much left to do so quite a bit still and I've decided that I'm going to work in longer skinnier columns and get this done I'm just going to power through it I've been having kind of a burnout lately um, I don't know if anyone else experiences that and I think it might be like I don't feel like working on this canvas at all but I am doing the chuck along so I'm like okay I started it it's kitted up in my Elizabeth Ward storage so I'm like if I put this away then I lose out on using my Elizabeth Ward storage until I finish it so I'm just gonna try my hardest to finish it um, but I am kind of burnt out from this painting I think because it is not all oh, that really sucked putting down those drills um, um, I think because it's not a colorful canvas and I'm used so used to doing colorful canvases but lately I've just been doing more neutral um, canvases like dark ones as well if you can hear that drilling that is just my landlord he's working in his garage probably drilling something but yeah so I haven't super felt like working on this canvas a lot like part of me again like I said just wants to give up but I'm not going to power through it we can just get it done and out of the way and then we can work on something else speaking of something else I can't remember the last time I ordered from Diamond Art Club I think it literally was during Black Friday yeah I think Black Friday was when I last ordered Diamond Art Club because this one this canvas, Simple Country, was sent to me in January along with Shepherd's Cottage. My friend, Amit, who I call my sugar, my diamond painting sugar mommy. Um, so I help her out a lot with her work and like do website stuff for her and like social media stuff for her. And she actually just pays me in diamond paintings. I think she like bribes me in diamond paintings to help her because we are friends and I would help her anyway. But she like uh for what was it for black friday she bought me i think like eight or nine canvases and then she sent these two to me in january so i haven't really bought any diamond art clubs and um there just hasn't really been any that have been speaking to me lately uh, like none that i super really want like i really like the the cat one where they're like buy a window that one is really pretty but again, not something that I would like super die if I don't have. I really liked Fuji Flora, but again, not one that I would die if I didn't have. So I th I've been ordering from other diamond painting companies um, and you can expect to see unboxings from all of them. I'm really on a partial special drill kick right now. So I ordered from a new China Terra company. So China Terra also owns fan cells and I think they own GBFKE. I can't say for sure, but I know that China Terra owns um, fan cells and a bunch of other diamond painting companies. Like they're all, you get invoiced all from the same company and I can't get this drill. You guys probably can't see, but there's this drill here that I'm trying to pick up with my pen to like push into place, but I can't get it. So anyways, I've been really into ordering special drill paintings and so I ordered from I did two orders actually from DIY choose um, about a week apart because I was like okay I want more partials and I think also like the reason why diamond painters buy so many dot buy so many canvases is not just that because it's addictive but because we're like waiting for our diamond paintings to arrive in the mail and they haven't come yet so we just order more like thinking that 
it will somehow make the other ones come faster even though it won't we just keep ordering them and well that's partly why I keep ordering canvases because I'm like I want the ones that I order to come in the mail but then in the meantime I'm still like stalking other websites looking at what they're selling and stuff like that so um, so besides special drill paintings that I ordered from DIY Choose, I also ordered from Mindfulness Diamond Painting. So Mindfulness Diamond Painting used to be called Diamond Painting Factory, but after the Lunar New Year, they actually changed their name to Mindfulness Diamond Painting. I'm not sure why. It could be because there's a diamond painting factory that, um, like a company called Diamond Painting Factory that already exists, but... Um, anyway, so they rebranded and they're called that. They still have uh, Willowing Arts. They still have Sarah Richter and those types of artists, um, but they're just called something different. I ended up ordering the Sarah Richter. I forget what it's called, but it has bats on it. Um, I don't know. I really liked Lady Moth that I did from there. Um, I did a video for how I seal my diamond paintings. You can actually see the finished lady moth in that one. So I was like, I really like doing this one. I'm going to order this, uh, this bat one by Sarah Richter. And I've seen other people unbox some of their, um, mindfulness diamond paintings or diamond painting factory, whatever you want to call it now. Um, I've seen people unbox them and like, Someone actually unboxed a canvas from there and it had the watermark across it. I'm like, that is so wrong. Like, I don't think you should get a diamond painting and have the watermark, but I think that diamond painting factory fixed that for them and like sent them a new one. I can't necessarily recall or not. So I think diamond painting factory or mindfulness diamond painting, whatever you want to call it, I think it's really hit or miss with them. Because I have another canvas from them and oh, I suck with this multi- Okay, I'm not using this multi-placer today. No, just a bad time. Um, but it, I have another canvas from them and it was a Willowing Arts canvas and it looks very pixelated. But again, I haven't worked on it so I can't really speak to the finished product but the canvas itself looks kind of pixelated so... And it had someone else's name on it. So if you didn't know, they put your name on the canvas. And mine came with someone else's name on it. Marilyn Baird or something like that. I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know who this person is. But that's not me, obviously. Like, can you please send me the correct canvas? So we'll see when that one turns up. Check that out. Hopefully it won't be horrible or anything like that. Like, hopefully there's nothing wrong with the canvas. Um, another place that I ordered from recently for the first time. Well, I shouldn't say the first time. So pretty neat creative. Um, I have never ordered my own diamond painting from them. So I think like in January, I ordered Gem and Jess, who's also on YouTube. I ordered her a canvas from there as a gift. And so that was my first pretty neat creative purchase. And then I ended up ordering one, I think like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I ordered one a couple weeks ago of like a galaxy type image. Okay, there's a drill on here already and I was trying to pick up another one. I ordered a galaxy type image from them and that one should be on its way already. It did take a while to ship, which was kind of annoying, but expected because they just came out of the Lunar New Year celebrations. Um, pretty neat creative, like I've seen their kits unboxed. I do, I like them. Um, I like some of the illustrations they have, but, um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited for my first pretty neat creative because I've heard good things about them. Another company I ordered from was, oh, Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moments. Uh, she did an unboxing of a company called Create Share Love, Create Share Art. I don't know which one it's called, but apparently they ship from the U.S., so she got, she ordered from them and then she ended up getting her order, but then they came in a Heartful Diamond Painting box. So Heartful Diamond Painting is another diamond painting company, which leads me to believe that they're the same company like Create Share Art or I think Create Share Art is based in Australia, but they have US shipping. So maybe Heartful just handles the shipping for them, but they also sell the exact same canvases on the Heartful website. 
But anyways, so after seeing her unbox that though, I was like, I want one from Heartful. So I headed down to, I headed down, I headed over to the Heartful Diamond Painting website and they actually have um, new kits and they're licensed with a licensed artist or they're licensed from an artist. I can't remember the light, the artist's name, but I think there's four or five new canvases that they have on their website right now that are by that artist. So I ordered one of those. Um, they have a really nice one where this person is walking across a bridge and there's like two big really koi fish um, around the bridge. I can't remember if I ordered that one or there's another one that was more really fantasy like. I think I might have ordered that one. So you can expect unboxing videos from them. Oh yeah, and tomorrow, which is tomorrow for you, but today's Thursday when I'm filming this. So Saturday, you'll see an unboxing of my first custom. So I ordered my first custom diamond painting. I asked my friend Tammy, who's an illustrator, and you might have seen me um, on an envelope unbox uh, stickers from her before because I'm part of her Patreon. But um, she let me use one of her paintings or her illustrations it's of a mermaid it's really pretty i love her artwork um so she let me un or let me use her illustration to make a custom diamond painting and then i'm just going to give her the diamond painting after because really like when i do diamond paintings they just like go in the portfolio they get rolled back up into the box or like whatever like i just put them away I don't really do anything with them so i'm thinking when covid is kind of over or like all this stuff has passed I will just like donate them maybe to like somewhere like the finished ones like I know the Anne of Green Gables one I think that would look really great in like a classroom or a library or something so I might see about like donating that one or giving them to a school or something like that but anyway so Tammy let me use her image to get a custom made um everywhere that I looked online they said um, people on Facebook and YouTube were recommending getting a custom made at Ever Moment, so I did an Ever Moment order. I, for some reason, I like forgot that they are poured glue or double sided adhesive, so it's kind of sad when it came and it was double sided adhesive because I was, I don't know what I was expecting or why I would be expecting poured glue because I feel like I knew that they were double sided adhesive, it just like the thought just never crossed my mind, so when I got it, I was kind of sad. But whatever, I don't mind double-sided adhesive. So that unboxing will be up tomorrow. Um, it's really, you can see the one that I ordered and maybe fall in love with it. Um, if you do want to have one of Tammy's pieces of artwork, you can message her on Instagram. I'll have all the information in the description box of that video. And then I also did a video showing you the process that I took in order to order that custom. So uh, that should be out next week, I think on Monday. And that one's just more of an informative screen recording video. So if you've never ordered a custom before and you want to, um, there's just some tips that I put in that video. Where else did I order from? Oh, and I received new wax from a Canadian wax seller, oops, which is in here in this envelope. But I have not opened the envelope yet because I was going to film a video of doing the unbagging and then testing the wax, but I haven't tested the wax yet. Well, obviously I haven't filmed the video at all because it's still in a sealed envelope. So I plan on doing that this weekend. I'll film that video and that will be up hopefully next week. I do have another video about sensible by designs. If you guys remember them, I really like their putty and my order was like from back from when they had the first version of their wax. So the owner Amy was kind enough to send me some of the new wax, the wax 2.0. So I did kind of an unbagging of that and a review of that. I So their putty is like amazing. That is what I have right now in my multi-placer and I'm loving it so far. Uh, like it's been lasting a really long time. Um, as you can see, so it's root beer. Um, I have an everlasting metal tip on my pen. The pen is from Enablers Outpost, so I should have said this earlier in the video. My pen is from Enablers Outpost. This steel tip is from Everlasting Tips, and inside of it I have the new 2.0 wax, which is, this one is apple, and it smells so good. Let me smell it. Yeah, it smells so delicious. So that is apple, and then um, I have root beer in 
is it root beer or do I have coffee? I think I have root beer. Root beer in the multi-placer, and you can see like I've used it a bunch of times, but it lasts so long I haven't really made a huge dent in the container yet. Um, I have a six placer, six multi-placer tip from Everlasting Tips, but I was doing, I was filming for a video called Battle of the Waxes as a challenge that Purple Door Crafts, who has a YouTube channel, Purple Door Crafts, she put out a challenge to creators uh, to do Battle of the Waxes, so I've just been using a uh, normal multi-placer for that, and so I haven't been using this one. This one, as you can see, it's not as thin as the white as these ones like the white thin placers so I've been getting used to using this one um, but you can see that it's a bit thicker and uh, more deep than the white placer which is fine I just have to get used to using it I don't know why I'm not using it now but whatever um, I think I should really switch to it should I switch to it maybe I will switch to it so let's take this out and with pens, when you get pens custom made, they usually drill the hole a bit bigger. Um, all you have to do is put washi tape or sticky tack or something like that um, on the end of your tip so that it stays inside. So I always just use washi tape. So let's use this one. I'm going to load this with some wax or some putty. Now this is like turning into a tutorial video, but I will have a video out on Everlasting Tips and how I use them. So you can kind of see how I use them right now. I'm just going to pull some of this off. Shove it in there. Let's put some more. I just keep forgetting to do things in frames so you can actually see. But I don't know if you're watching. If you're just listening, I am basically loading my everlasting tip. I think that's good enough. That should be good for now. Yeah. Yeah. So let's use my everlasting tip instead of the multi-place plastic multi-placer um oh yeah so on sunday i had my very first live on my channel it was really fun thank you so much to abigail from abigail marie diamond painting with abigail marie thank you so much for co-hosting with me um thank you to everyone who came it really means a lot to me like i was super stoked when i saw like the people in chat i guess there was um let me get some water first My throat is like dying because I'm so thirsty and I ended up drinking most of the water in this cup just now. Sorry. Um, but thank you so much to Abigail Marie and thank you to everyone who came. I looked at the stats or the analytics for the live and at most we had 40 people in it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I literally thought there would be like under 10 people who came or who would come. So thank you to all my subscribers who came. Thank you to all my friends who came. It was nice because it was like a mixture of diamond painting people, my Twitter, social media people, and real life friends who came by. And even if you just came by to, said, to say hello and didn't stay, I really appreciate you popping in. Um, we had a lot of fun. Abigail was folding her laundry during my live and I was just like kind of sitting there staring at the camera chatting with her. Um, so she was folding her laundry and I guess she got a lot of laundry folding done because she was like, hey, if I, if you stop going live now, I'm never going to finish my laundry because um, I guess folding it on camera really helped her get it done. So she actually went live on her channel and ended up folding laundry for like three hours or something like that live on her channel which is like redonkulous and it's crazy because there were actually like a bunch of people in there just chatting with her and I'm like this needs to be like this is prime content <laughs> um so yeah I'm glad she got her laundry folded and thank you again for coming to host with me I was really nervous like literally I was like no one's gonna come and you know just like the insecure the typical insecure stuff that you get when you're going live or you're putting yourself out there. I think 
I got asked um, in the chat if I was going to continue doing lives. Um, it is something that I'm looking into. Me being an introvert and having social anxiety, um, the first thought that pops into my mind is like, well, if I do a live again, but I do it alone, it's going to be so awkward. And like, do I show my face during the live? Do I show myself diamond painting? If I do show diamond painting, will I actually diamond paint or am I just going to sit there and mind the chat? That type of thing. So I'm thinking about it. Um, would you guys rather someone go live during the day or in the evening? Let me know in the comments down below. So because I do work for myself, I can set my own schedule. So I can basically go live whenever, but if it works better for you in the evening versus the daytime or the vice versa, just let me know in the comments below what works best for you because that would be helpful to me. I have to go pick up groceries soon. So we ordered groceries online last night and then realized we forgot a whole bunch of stuff. We meant to, like I meant to add ketchup to the list and garbage bags and then I realized that we forgot those things but whatever, we'll survive without them. I actually, so I don't know about you guys, I know some people don't keep ketchup packets but I keep ketchup packets. Like if we get food to go or whatever and they give us ketchup packets I usually will just keep them I have like a big ziploc in the kitchen of like ketchup and like sauces that I keep and today I went to open a sweet and sour sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's like their dipping sauce I went to open that to eat my chicken pieces for lunch that I made I went to go open that and it was like expired because it was like really dark and it smelled bad so that made me sad but um, do you guys keep ketchup packets? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm just curious to know these things, really. I like keeping them because if throwing them away feels like a waste, does that mean I'm a hoarder? Is, is that a sign of hoarding? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, thank you so much to everyone who supported Chonky Pens. So on Friday I made a video kind of introducing Chonky Pens to you guys. Um, I uploaded about 17, I listed 17 pens in my shop and by the time Saturday came around I was completely sold out except for two pens and then on Sunday I ended up selling out of pens and I uploaded 13 more chunky pens and now it is Thursday and there's only two pens left and both of the pens are really cute like they're both really I would consider them my favorites like this one let me find it this one I really like if you look up at your screen if you're not doing anything or if you're doing something this one I really like I love the colors and this is legit like one of my favorites and like no one has purchased it yet I'm like what's wrong with it why doesn't anyone like this one this one's my favorite and I almost didn't list it for sale because I wanted to keep it for myself but yeah so if you like that one that one is still up in my shop I am going to be making more pens tonight and probably listing them so if you are watching this there may be um i can't promise you but there may be more pens listed in my shop um, i'm going to be doing more medium thick ones and just like the regular chunky ones i haven't decided if i want to do a thinner pen just because that's not of interest to me but um someone asked me if i would make thinner pens and i was like probably not so i don't know it's just considering that but it's not really my thing so i probably won't I like the chunky pens like this one. I love it. So the putty is kind of falling out, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just like, I want to power through this canvas. I'm at the point where I'm just like, just finish it already. And like, it's not like someone else can come do it for me. Like if my boyfriend diamond painted, oh my God, I'd be like, hey, finish this for me. Um, or if you can like Postmates, we don't have Postmates in Edmonton, but if you could Postmates, someone to come finish your diamond painting imagine if you could do that that would be amazing I would offer that service unless it was a Chuck Pinson with lots of confetti because then maybe I wouldn't offer that service so I think I loaded it up with too much wax because some of it is spilling out into the, and sticking to the canvas so I'm just going to take some of the wax or the putty away from the multi-placer oh it smells so good like root beer this week wasn't super eventful for work stuff on Wednesday, so yesterday, but two days ago for you because you're watching this Friday, I ended up 
um, doing like kind of like a rehearsal for a presentation that I'm giving next week and they're using Microsoft Teams. I don't know if you guys use Microsoft Teams at work, but it's kind of like Zoom where it's just like a video conferencing app. Um, but yeah, so they use Microsoft Teams. I've used Microsoft Teams once before and it was fine. Um, but this, like this one, um, their organization is set up differently and like legit you have to like sign up for a Microsoft Teams account etc etc and I was just really frustrated by the end of it because it's like okay well I signed up for an account which I hate signing up at four accounts just because then I get spammed by them um, so sign up for a Microsoft Teams account tried to log back into the conferencing like rehearsal link that they had sent me and I couldn't log in because it, it was like logging in is the first step to getting um, connected with your team and it just kept saying that and there was no like spot for me to actually put in my login information so that was really frustrating uh, so tomorrow which is Friday I have a call with the lady again at like 11 or something like that and we're going to try and fix whatever is blocking me from accessing the Microsoft Teams. So next week I'm actually doing a presentation to, I think they're like high school students. I should probably know these things, but to high school students just on like um, my career as like an industry, as a digital marketing industry member and like how I built my business, um, my education, etc., etc. So that should be fun. And then I also got contacted by someone at a university on the East Coast to be part of their industry panel to speak to their recent graduates or or people in the program. I think it's recent graduates. I don't know. People in the program to, um, to answer any questions they have about the marketing industry, I guess. Uh, so that should be fun. I like doing talks to new, like, new grads and like people who are trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives. Like, definitely when I was in school, social media was not a career choice just because there was no social media really growing up. Like, in high school, there was, I think, Facebook. Was there Facebook even? I think there was Facebook. But it wasn't, like, a huge thing where everyone was on it. Oh, we had, like, a, a thing called Asian Ave. Yeah, there was Facebook because there was also Asian Ave, which was, like, Facebook but for Asian people. There was also Black Planet. Um, which was like Facebook, but for black people um, and like different social media networks. There was MySpace was huge as well back then. Um, but obviously MySpace isn't huge now. I actually went on the MySpace website and my login still worked. Um, but it ends up being that MySpace turned into kind of like a music platform. I don't really know how well they're doing, but um, it still exists, which was surprising to me. Remember there was like Friendster? Did you guys ever have Friendster? Um, that was also a social media network or people would like do Yahoo Chat or MSN Messenger. Do people still use MSN Messenger? Let me know in the comments below. I have no idea. I just know that like it existed. Now most companies are using Slack. Slack is a chatting app so people are using that. They call it the email replacement, which is kind of cool. Um, I use that to speak with my virtual assistant. So anyways, talking about apps, I'm like talking about these apps and you guys probably don't care because you're not in marketing. So um, well, I'm assuming you're not. So we can talk about something else. <laughs> How was your week? Let me know in the comments below. Did anything cool happen? Um, I don't feel different from being 35 to 36, even though 36 is the next step to being in my late 30s instead of, is it? Is 36 late 30s or is that 37? Because your mid 30s would be like 35, wouldn't it be? So I feel like 36 would be your mid 30s. How old, also how old were the people on Friends? If you're a Friends fan, how old were those people? Like the characters in the show. I want to know. Because I think they're around my age. But they they seemed a lot older. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below about that too. Because I'm curious. Um, I have to go pick up our groceries soon. So I'm going to end it soon. Um, oh my god. There's like been a fighter plane or a 
fighter jet or something that makes loud noises flying outside today and it's kind of freaking me out just because like I never hear that ever so I don't know what it's doing but it's flying around being being crazy oh, my stomach hurts so I made like chicken pieces or chicken bites for lunch and after eating them now my stomach really hurts like it's cramping up it sucks I hope that it, I didn't get like food poisoning or something and like I'm super thirsty now too which I don't have any water I mean I can go fill up my glass from the sink but that would require me to get up and stop filming so I'm not going to drink water until I am done filming this video someone is calling me I went and checked who was calling me and it was a spam caller. Do you guys get those spam callers? Uh, I don't know if people in the States get them as much as we do in Canada, but it's freaking annoying. Like, just like numbers, I don't know. And because I have my number, like my work number published on the internet, even though it just forwards to my personal cell phone, I get so many stupid calls and I never pick up the phone now. Like, I just don't even bother. Because what's the point? You're just going to spam me and tell me that I'm going to jail for not doing my taxes or something. It's really frustrating. I'm tired. Ugh. Oh yeah, so I have a sleep study. Uh, oh my god, guys. So I snore like an old man, apparently. And I keep my boyfriend awake at night. And sometimes, like, we don't have a door to our bedroom because we live in a loft. So literally... Our bedroom is just upstairs, up a bunch of stairs, and you can hear me snoring from the living room because there's no door or wall between us, between it. Um, so he's been having trouble sleeping, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a sleep study. I think I have sleep apnea. So I'm doing, uh, I have a call with a doctor on Saturday, and then on Monday I go and pick up, I think I go and pick up the machine for whatever it's called. I don't know what the machine is called, but I'm going to pick up the machine for the sleep study and then on Tuesday I have to return it. Um, and then from there, after they like do the results, then I might have to get one of those machines that people sleep with, like the mask on their face, so that I don't die and so that uh, my snoring doesn't affect my boyfriend and he can actually sleep like someone is supposed to sleep at night. So I'm kind of nervous about that and um, when it comes to like medical stuff, I don't like, I always feel like people are like really proper and like, I don't know. I'm just like, when they asked me on the form, like, why are you booking this appointment with the doctor? I was like, because I snore and my boyfriend can't sleep, lol. And I wrote lol and then I was like, oh, maybe I should like not be unprofessional with it. But yeah. It's just like, whatever. Um, so yeah, sleep study and snoring like an old man, apparently. My dad snores really loud, too. And it was bad to the point where my mom, where he slept in the basement and my mom slept in their bedroom because his snoring was so loud. So I don't know. Maybe he has sleep apnea, too. I don't know. I mean, just because you snore loud doesn't mean you have sleep apnea. But I literally will fall asleep um, driving places uh, well I pull over and have to like take a stop a rest stop or a nap type thing but if someone else is driving um like I fell asleep on the way to Leduc and Leduc is just a city that's like 20 minutes away from Edmonton not even and I fell asleep on the car ride there because I don't know why I'm like a baby like drive me around and I'll just fall asleep so yeah, I'm glad that I'm doing the sleep study finally because this isn't the first time I've had trouble with my snoring and not breathing at nighttime. Um, so it is about time to do it, but I'm just like really nervous about it. Anyways guys, I have to go pick up my groceries and be an adult. So I'm going to leave this whip and chat here. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, Put a cat emoji. I still have my nails. I need to redo them. Put a cat emoji in the chat below. Uh, let me know if you like lives during the daytime or in the evening around dinner time or something like that. Um, let me know how old the people on Friends were. 
Let me know what diamond painting you're working on and if you've ever experienced burnout and whatever you want to say in the, the comments below. Let me know. Okay, talk to you guys in my next video. If you're new here and you made it this far, thank you so much. Um, you can hit subscribe and join my Hive. I post diamond painting videos on a regular basis. And I'm going now. Okay, bye!